Laravel Nova resources. Now these things, they're the backbone of Laravel Nova and they are extremely powerful. Like it is insane. So by default, we get this user resource. And so the higher level view, what it actually does once you finalize setting up a resource is it does four things. And they're based on CRUD, um, loosely based on CRUD. So it uses a model. You don't have to add a controller and you can easily define a form to create and edit a user or create an update. You can easily go to the detailer show page to read about the user or see information about the user. Again, update is the form and then it is very easy to delete. So making a resource, here's the index page. So if we had multiple users, there would be multiple rows. The index page for a resource, the resource in this case being users, displays all of our users. Now, if you go to this eye right here, you can view the user. And when you view the user, what it does is it just shows the information for a specific user and not for all the users. And apologies, guys, my machine's running slow for some reason. If this takes too long. Yeah, there we go. If this takes too long, I won't make you guys watch those reloads. Um, but hopefully, it just speeds up. So after that, you know, you have the details, you have the index. But there's also an edit button and a delete button. Are you sure you want to delete the selected resources? Nah, I'm good. And it says resources because on the index page, you can select multiple rows and delete multiple. So that's why it says resources plural instead of resource singular, even though we are on the details page. And then of course, if we went to edit, it would say, hey, name, email, password. And then if we just cancel, it will bring us back to our resource index. So once this reloads, we'll go, oh, I guess it brought us back to the detail. Once this reloads, we're going to actually create a user. And this is how easy it is to create a user in Nova. It is crazy. And again, the user is the default resource. As an example, out of the gate, we have a user. So say we want to create, I don't know, Johnny, Johnny Bill Bob. And then you can do Johnny at bill.bob.org. Yes, it's an organization. Um, and then you could define this password. And I'm just going to make it secret. And so create a user or create and add another. So, oh, and then of course it still has the validation. Um, so we'll call it password, make that eight. Instead of secret, it is now password. And then of course, after we create our user, we'll get this, hey, the user was created successfully and we'll be redirected back to our index page. And then when we're redirected back to our index page, we'll see a list of all of our users. And gosh, I keep thinking it's index page. It redirects you to the details page after you do an individual user action like update or create. And so now we have Johnny Bill Bob. We have Johnny, you know, all the information for this user, all the information for that user. It shows both of them. If we want to look up just a specific user, then it will. And of course, if we were to go Zach, which is my user, then we're good. Uh, it also allows you to index, paginate, et cetera, et cetera. If we wanted to select all users and then we wanted to run the delete action, then we could. And we'll say, are you sure you want to delete the selected resources? I don't want to delete my user. Um, so I'm just going to delete this user. But before we delete Johnny Bill Bob, I just want to show you the detail page one more time. It shows the specific details for this user. And if we go back, if we were to edit, we could edit that specific user. And so it sets up all of our CRUD pages. And so that is Laravel Nova resources on a higher level. And we'll delete them real quick. And so how do we actually go in and make our own new resource? Here's the home page. And if I go to slash Nova, we get redirected to the dashboard, right? I want to add a new resource because I have a list of packages. And each one of these packages, there's like 40 of them, 40 of the 43 or something are actually packages I've created. So many are on NPM. And so if we go to npmjs.com slash package vue.js form, just to show you what, why I need to create this resource, real world example. I have all of this documentation, right? All of this documentation, it's a long package that acts like Laravel, has Laravel validation, all that stuff. Pretty cool package. The problem is the unpacked size of this package is really large for a JavaScript package. And what I want to do is I want to be able to say, hey, 
instead of putting all this documentation inside the package itself, I want to go to the GitHub page and I want to point the user to say like, hey, to see the documentation, go to cleancode.studio. I want to host the documentation on the Clean Code Studio website and I want to do that to minimize the size. So we're going to create a model. We're going to do PHP artisan make model and then we're going to say package and then we're going to say with a migration dash m make model with the migration we need a model on a migration all right so we created the packages table and we are creating our model so right here we're going to have a protected fillable and within fillable we want to add a title a link and let's see let's do a body and I probably will go in later and actually add more details to this model so I can actually break up my packages and reuse documentation between the packages there's a lot of them and I don't want to have to retype the same thing um, but for now that will be good so after that we want to go to our database and if I can find my database there it is and we want to go migrations and we created a packages table right and so within this packages table I'm just gonna go back to my packages copy my fillable and simply go right here and we're just going to paste those in now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do this. I'm going to say table and then we're going to go and let's do t -t -t string right there. Remove the comma and put that. And it looks like I messed that up down there. And then I'm going to change the body and I'm actually going to make this text or even long text. So after that, we're going to want to migrate our database. PHP Artisan Migrate. Once that's migrated, we will have our migration set up. We'll have our model set up. We do not need to make a controller. Once we have our model and our migration set up, the last thing we need to do is do PHP Artisan Nova resource package. Nova resource package. Doesn't need to be package resource, doesn't need to be anything special. It's like making a model. And so then it will automatically point to the backslash app backslash package class. The title is going to be ID. And of course, if we were to go back to our package real quick, we called it title. So I'm going to call this title. This will just be the text, the property that displays when you're searching for it. Um, if you're searching for it and you had ID, it will show just the ID of the package. That can also be a method though, but we'll go into that in a different tutorial. Uh, we want to be able to switch to search through our packages by ID and title. And what else do we have? We had ID, uh, title, link, body. And I guess, why not? We could go body too. That way, we can actually look for keywords in our body, which is so cool. After that, we are going to want to make our actual form. So before we go any further, let's just see what we've got. If we go back to our Nova page, we're going to have packages. <laughs> How cool is that? So we can go to the packages page and it's going to have our table set up. God, this is insane. We're going to be able to set pagination to search to create package. If there are no packages, it just gives us this easy create package. But notice, notice our form is empty. So how do we fix this? How do we add fields? You know, how do we add the create field and the update field? And sometimes you need to show things on create. You don't need to show on update and vice versa. 
Well, believe it or not, it's just the fields method. So check this out. If we go to the fields method, we're returning an array, and it's an array of fields. The first field right here is ID. So let's scroll up and look at the namespace, Laravel Nova Fields ID. So if we click through to fields, look at all the fields we have. We have Gravatar, Morph to Action, Has Many, Place, ID, Heading, Field Element, Action Fields, Password Confirmation, Resolve, Reverse, Relate. What? Huh. I've never seen that one. Okay. Resolves reverse relation. Uh, yeah, that sounds fun. Um, also cool. But uh, we have all of these things. And so, remember, we're trying to make the documentation for a GitHub package. Well, something tells me I'm going to need this markdown field. And so, I'm just going to copy this right here. And, of course, I'm just going to do this slash markdown and then we're going to have to have a title so I bet I don't know I might have done this once or twice that there is a text field so there's that field so we have text and we have markdown and let's just go text again for the link or URL because Nova does not have an actual link field there's plenty of packages out there for it. Um, real quick, by the way, cards, filters, lenses, actions. Ignore those for now. We will get into those in future lessons. We'll also learn how to create our own fields, how to create our own custom fields, um, and a lot more. Um, but right now, it's just fields, search, and title. And so, we added the markdown field. And what we want to do is we want to add the title case version of our model property. So remember, our model property, and here I'm going to close this out and that out. And let's just get to this. Our model property is title link body. Whenever we're making a field, we want to add the title case version of our property. So for the body, the actual content of the documentation, Instead of body like that, or if it were two words, like content body, that's how we put it in our fillable property and in our migration. Well, in our Nova fields, we want to just do the title case version. Markdown, make, body. And if we wanted to say documentation and then reference the body directly, we can. But... By default, if you put the title case version, it will look for the, the snake case of that form. So body will automatically look for body. If we want to give it a custom name, then we could do documentation body. Otherwise, we can just do body and omit that second parameter. After that, we want to say, okay, the markdown, that's going to be a lot of content to show on the table. So... Let's just do only on forms. And now it's only going to show on forms. And then we'll say required. And yeah, we'll call that good. Then we're going to want to do text, make, title. And then we're going to say required. And... That's going to be everywhere, so we don't need to, need to do anything with that. After that, we're going to do text, make, and then link. And that is also going to be required. And maybe we want to specify like a GitHub link. And so then we will specify the second option. So right there. And so what do we just do there? By adding these three lines plus the imports. <laughs> we created the create and the edit forms. And now we have our entire markup. So let's try this. Let's go to my GitHub account. We're going to go right here. I'm going to edit my markdown just like that. 
copy all of this markdown and we're going to do this. And I just paste a lot of content there. Right? <laughs> a lot of content. Notice how it's formatting. It's got the colors, all that good stuff. All right. So there are a few things like this image. I actually have to use Markdown, whereas GitHub allows me to specifically add that. So it's not GitHub Markdown. It is very strict Markdown. After that, we're going to say, okay, what is the GitHub link? That's going to be right here. And the GitHub link is just going to be this. And then title is going to be Vue.js form. And after that, thank God for a fast scrolling mouse, create package. And, uh-oh, string data right trunk, whoa. So what we can do here is we can go to inspect and then the network. Here's a really good tip when you have some weird bugs in Nova Markdown or in any Nova field is check your network. And we're going to say, okay, because when you check your network, it will show you the error. String data, right truncated. Data too long for column. Changes at row one. Action event, oh. It's too long. Wow. That's crazy. I use long text there too. Um, so, for the sake of this tutorial, I will use a different package. All the images are messed up, and I used a lot of images in this one. Um, yeah, but overall, I can fix that later. Create package. And pow, package created. Oh, man, that is awesome. Okay, so now we have this, the package details, and title, GitHub link. Only show on forms. So I made a mistake. And that mistake was this. We never actually see the documentation, even though we should. I said only on forms. And what it really should have been, yeah, hide from index. That's what I wanted to do. I just want to hide it from the index. I want it to be on the detail page and not on the index page. So if we reload that, then we get show content. And la la. Showing slash hiding fields. This will be show on index, show on detail, show on creating and updating. This is the forms. This is the single resource page. And this is all resources page. Index is the table. Detail is single. Creating and updating are the forms. And you can hide only and then accept on forms. So that's how you can hide and show things um, in Nova. And so the last thing that we really have is if we go to the package index page and we search for the package, I want to show you what that search property did. So if we go like four, or maybe up here, let's do this. So this is the global search bar. This is the resource specific search. And so if we do four, when we do a global search, it will do Laravel mix code splitter and it will give us that packages, right? But how does it know to use Laravel mix code splitter? That's the title. That's just a random property, right? Would well, you remember when we were doing search and 
first off, we're able to search by these properties. And then secondly, we set this public static title. Well, the title is the title, but what we're really referencing is the package property of title. If we wanted to call it link instead, or even ID, we get the link. And because we changed that in PHP, we didn't actually have to reload our page. Alternatively, we can actually override the public static title where we're only allowed to reference properties of our model our Nova resource is referencing. And we can set a custom um, title that will show in the search. It's going to be public function title and then we can do this title and then I'm going to return this title and let's do this let's do this title and this link and I like doing those little curlies I think it looks nice and we can do that completely remove that all together update this doc block to get rid of those ugly lines. And now if we look up Laravel mix, we get our custom title. So guys, that is setting up a resource within Laravel Nova from start to finish in a real world example. Of course, we can delete this, we can view it, we can edit it, and we can search it. Secular.